guys, what's up? It's your girl, Hey Schmidt, and today we're getting back into the Vampire Legacy Challenge. We are hopefully going to be finishing up our fourth gen today. Um, he goes to work in 20 hours, and he hopefully will be getting a promotion next time he goes to work. So hopefully we'll be done with gen four. We can clear him off for good now. And then we still need to write two more best-selling books. And I've done my boop -a -boop -a -boop -a research since then. And somebody on uh, Reddit said, uh, I heard if you take an inspiring shower, woohoo, and browse art on a computer, that it gives you a higher chance of a bestseller book. So I did the inspiring shower, the browsing on art um, on the computer. And it worked my first try, but it's not guaranteed. So we're gonna try that today. I'm gonna have her take, I'm gonna have her woohoo, take an inspiring shower and browse art. And then we're gonna have her write her next book. So also I need your steamy vampire smut book titles on um, ready to go when I need them today. So have those uh, written down or ready to take notes or ready to copy and paste those in here for me. So. Let's try to do that. Also, who are you? Who's your man again? Oh, Simon. <laughs> Simon, I'm so sorry. So we're gonna have Simon do that. And hopefully after that, we can solely focus on our Gen 6. Um, who needs to reach an adept uh, wizard, win three duels against other sims. So we'll have to go back to the spellcaster realm. And she needs to get started on learning how to make jewelry. So hopefully, we can start uh, doing some jewelry making with her very shortly because we need to get started on that. Also, our boy Aries over here is feeling himself. He did uh, some fresh new makeup, so he is feeling himself today. Also, I'm trying to get Aries married and moved out, so that'll probably happen today too. I got a lot of plans for the day, so we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, Simon is all... Uh, flirted up. So let's just start with getting her ready to go for this book. I'm going to have them woohoo. Hopefully she does not end up pregnant. We'll see. Um, because I have risky woohoo on. I think risky woohoo for me is on like 30%. Um, so hopefully not too bad. Uh -huh. All right. Go ahead, ma'am. Let's start with this. We're gonna see if Reddit can get me a bestseller, best-selling book. I need some bestseller worth titles today. That's what I need. I need y'all to come at me with the best-selling titles. I don't know who just made that painting, but. Simon, hop to it. Your woman has already teleported over to the drudge bed, to Mr. Clean's bed, because we don't care. All right, come on. This is going to get us a bestseller right here. Simon, I need bestseller blowing out, okay? <laughs> bestseller. Oh, my gosh, yes. Can we name the... Can I just put... Uh, can I just put bestseller as a titer? A, a titer. A title and hope that gets this for us. All right, the woohoo has been commenced. Now to go and have her take the shower. Um, where do I have a, a shower over here? Shower. Uh, brisk, steamy, thoughtful. Yeah, a thoughtful shower. After that woohoo, gotta take a nice shower. Get out of here, Dusk. We would like to shower. Walk on out. Get out of here. We need to do this really quickly because I need it to all be stacked on top of itself. All right, so we're feeling very inspired now. She's singing in the shower. Breast seller. Now that's a title. Now that's a title. All right. Uh, what was the last thing? Browse art on the computer. Okay, let's have her do that. Browse art. Where do I browse art? I didn't even know you could do that on the computer. Oh, probably on the web. Yeah, browse art. Dub my blur. 
<laughs> Come on, go to the computer. Hurry up. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Um, what if you name the book bestseller and it's not a seller? Then it was just a plea to the wind. Okay, come on. Come on, honey. You are wasting my emotes. My moodlets. I keep saying emotes for moodlets, and I don't know why. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Huh. How long do I have to browse art? I'm guessing long enough for, the, for a moodlet to pop up. Oh, but now I'm feeling confident. Does that... That's from the loyalty tree. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. All right, I've got a mood lit. Now let's write a bestseller, okay? Right. Um, I don't know if it should be anything, but let's let's go for poetry today. Okay, here we go. I am very confident. And what we have put out today. So I'm going to... And she's sparkling. That's got to mean something, right? Dusk, get out of here. You're breaking my focus. I really need to, like, put a lock on this room. Oh, here. Get out of here, Dusk. I'm putting her down here with Mr. Queen. Mr. Queen. Mr. Queen. I'm saying Lightning McQueen over here. Hopefully... I'm even gonna light an evocative candle. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it all. Oh, Miss Oh, Bo Jesus just finished something. Wow, Hobo Jesus, very nice, very beautiful. Love, love. Um, are we writing the book? I don't know why. Okay, there we go. We're calling it bestseller because. My proven three-step method. All right. Let's see if we can make this happen. My proven best three-step method. Let's see if we can do this. Poetry. Yes. Go away. I like Mr. Queen better. <laughs> yes, how about Jesus? I would love it. If you love painting, nothing would make me happier than if you were just filling up this place with tons. Also, okay, does anyone else have this issue? Apparently, putting clutter on counters, because this happened in another save file of mine today, because I was in my project world testing some things out. And even though I raised an item up and it wasn't technically on the counter, it was now interfering with the space, which is the issue I was having over here. My sit, like even on a different build where once used to work, like with all the clutter on the counter, it didn't work anymore. And it is pissed, sorry, it's teeing me off. Because why would they do that? Like, what did they change to make that happen? Because that's awful. Like, I hate that. My sim will only use one counter that has zero clutter on it. But even if I don't put the clutter, or like, actually on the counter, like, you know, I move the counter away, I, like, configure the item so it's not resting on the counter, but it looks like it's resting on the counter, all of a sudden it counts it. It counts it and it says that it's, um, that it's on the counter. That it's in the way. And that used to never be a thing. And it now is a thing for some reason. And I don't understand. I hate it. No, that's what I meant. Okay, okay, there you go. Yeah. But has anybody else had this issue besides me and Dust Fibby? Like, because it is causing me so many issues and I hate it. <laughs> and I know I'm not even a, somebody who puts the most clutter in, like, my builds. Why are you tense? No. No, that better not have ruined my bestseller book. Why did you become tense? Evangeline is ambitious. Ambitious sims who are career focused and work well. We've been putting out so many things. Since when have you been ambitious? That's not even one of your traits. Oh, if that just sabotaged me. I'm gonna be so teed off. She's irresponsible. 
All right, well, let's see. Was this book a bestseller? Is bestseller a bestseller? <gasps> it's a bestseller! <laughs> yes! Yes, it's a bestseller. Sorry, I want to submit the copy to Literary Digest, actually. Oh, wait, I hope that counts. Wow, I can't believe that that actually worked. Oh, okay, we gotta do they gotta do the method one more time. Simon, I don't care if you're you're sleeping. Right here, right now. Me, you gotta woohoo one more time. One more time. Don't act like it's a big deal either. Come on. Me and you. Woo woos. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave for work. Don't leave for work. Don't leave for work yet. You can't wait, what am I doing? No, I don't wanna decorate. Stop. I don't wanna decorate. Simon! Simon, don't leave for work yet. We have to. Yes, skip. Skip for now. You're going into work. Just just hold tight. He's got he's got business first. Also, the royalty report came in for all of her books. And what's our best? It's amazing how my best seller. Bloodlust at 519 is our most expensive book. Of course, with I come in the night in a close second. <laughs> Once again, hopefully this doesn't get us pregnant, but, you know, we have things going on. We're very focused right now. Alright. The woohoo. And then we need a... Thoughtful shower. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. We don't need this. Hello there! Princess Fireball! Hello there! Oh, I love it when you guys use those. You know what? Y'all don't use enough sound alerts anymore. It's kind of depressing. I miss my sound alerts. I need my also my crystal trees to grow so I can use them. Okay, web. Let's browse a little art. Now, come on. Please let this book also be a bestseller. Everybody can be neat. 100%. Okay. Do we have the... Okay, we have the browsing art thing going. Alright, let's write... Let's write our bestseller. Also, let's light... <laughs> light that, and uh, here we go. Let's write another poetry book. I'm just gonna do all the same things. Um, uh, okay. I can't call it bestseller again. I can call it bestseller, bestseller volume two, though. There we go. The same stuff, different book. Proven time. I should have put proven times too. Dang it. Well, I hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. How about we repair that? Because I don't want to pay for that. Mr. Clean. You are not cleaning. A sinker is required. Destroy. Destroy. Okay, any, why does it, like a bunch of random people just keep coming to our house lately? That's what I don't get. I feel like I have so many people that just show up on our door all of a sudden. All right, hopefully everything is harvested and ready to go over here. There. That should cover everything, hoping. The nice part is, is Yennefer still goes to school, so I feel like I can still dedicate my time to all these sims. Whoa, 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 do we have writer's block? Do we, do we have writer's block? No, get back to it! Don't play the freaking woohoo game! Get out of here! Write the book! 
We have only a certain amount of time that these things can go down. No, I don't need distractions. No. I don't care if you want to brood about being a vampire. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I am in the zone right now. We are very focused. We're not even talking to our husband, who uh, should be at work. I'm really hoping this is the last bestseller and I can be done with this generation. <laughs> Lucinda, go away. <laughs> Who game? I hate that game. No, Lucinda. <laughs> go away. <laughs> go sell some paintings. Go sell some paintings. Why is everyone hanging out in the bathroom? Also, love your hair, Dusk. Very cute, very demure, very mindful. Um, does anyone want to fix that? Maybe we could start a club gathering so you guys start paying attention to how things are going. Did you just ask? He just asked Lydia to try for a baby in the sauna. Too bad Lydia can't leave. But freaking Alucard just ha tried to have a baby with Lydia. That is why I don't have woohoo locations with the cattle because otherwise we'd be procreating with the cattle all day long i'm not here for that a new water fountain <laughs> someone broke the body i swear if this doesn't become a bestseller i'm gonna be so teed please be a bestseller all right guys cross your fingers cross your fingers <gasps> No, we're not ambitious. We did it, guys. Oh my goodness. We are officially done, done with Gen 6. We have, or sorry, with Gen 5. We have gotten to level 10 of our writing skill. I did that in the wrong color. We have got to level 10 of piano, published at least five romance novels, snuck out in the middle of the night, became pregnant with a spellcaster, uh, slash vampire. Um, and then we got our best-selling author finally finished. We are officially done. Now, if I could be all caught up, if you go to work and you get promoted today, there's a very good chance you'll get promoted, but um, you go to work in three hours, so I want to make sure I hound him for the next three hours and make sure he shows up to work. <sighs> I can't believe we finally did it. We finally finished. Now I just need to finish Gen 4. Did we finish Gen 4? Nope, not yet. Almost. We are this close to finishing Gen 4. Simon, how's it going? Aries! Oh, Aries! I see you changed your hair! It's... You... Yeah, oh. Why are we getting into the bathroom? Why did we get into the bath with a trash bag? Were you bathing? Were you bathing with trash? And this new hair hairdo. Okay, okay. Um, you need to drink from someone. So let's. Okay, a bunch of the cattle are busy. Nervous, let's go ahead and drink from him. He looks like he's set up and good to go. Also, I'm going to give you the ability to fly as a bat so you can get through this large house much faster. And, uh, I'll let you hallucinate. Ah, oh, Alucard, are you going to work? Go to work, 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 work, go to 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 work, work, work. Happening now. Get going. Get out of this house. Go to work. It's a new bath bomb, okay? Yeah, he apparently he got a perm today. We're gonna take that away because it does not suit you at all. Work hard, Alucard, work hard. All right, in the meantime, now that I got Gen 6 done, Gen 4 is going to work, I feel like I can finally focus 
on this generation. So what I need to do is I need to find crystals and metals. So we have got to go on some serious crystal and metal hunts, which I don't know if because she's a spellcaster, she has more of an ability to walk in the sun. I have no idea. Um, so I might have to take her out to go do some, some digging uh, for some crystals and some metals. I think we're going to go to Oasis. But like I said, I don't know if she can necessarily walk around. So it's just the beginning of the night, so I think now is the perfect time to do some crystal hunts. Oh, well enough. What's wrong with Cassie the cat? Um, I don't know. She is just uncomfortable. Oh. Oh, and now she's following us. That's right, because she's said to be my familiar right now. Um. She seems like she doesn't want to follow me. So I'm going to unbind her from me. And familiars. Let's go ahead and summon a different fam familiar right now. Let's do the owl because we haven't used that one yet. Oh, I don't have the owl in my, my thingy. I have not binded it to me yet. Where is it? This one. Where did we get the raven? We just found the raven as well. Well, I'm still gonna do the owl. Oh God, what do I name the owl? Okay, what do I name the owl? What's my familiar owl? What do I name it? I know somebody's gonna say something for Harry Potter. I just know it. <laughs> hmm. Friend. Hoot. Hoot hoot. <laughs> Mr. Owl. Hoot. I'm seeing a lot of hoots, so we're gonna go hoot. Hooter. Okay, I like hooter. We'll go, we'll combine hoot and hooter. I like hooter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bind Mr. Hooter. And we'll go ahead and summon him. Hooter. Oh. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, I love him! He's amazing. I love Hooter. <laughs> Name it Chicken! Look at all them chickens! Does anybody know a good place? To get crystals like besides having crystal trees which i have um and besides i know the park at oasis springs is like a crystal mine but like i know oasis springs in itself is a crystal mine but anywhere else that's a good place to get crystals because that i could try and run to during the nights Hooter! Come on. Oh, come on, crystals. No, why is there not a single crystal around? I just said this place was a crystal mine. It's making me a liar. There ain't a single one over here. Where are they at? Oh, besides the science, uh, besides the science career, because I can't really go there. The science career is not really an option for me now. Because, like, it was when we were doing my other challenge. My Crystal Creations Turned Collection Challenge. They ain't nothing here. Ain't nothing here. Mm. The longer you hang out on the lot, the more pop up. Uh, that's a fair idea, but I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I think too. I funk too. <laughs> it's okay. We love and understand. We love and understand. 
One of the shops at the Magic World sells them too. I know, I'm just trying to get them for free. I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars. Can I? Yes, because we're rich. But do I want to spend my money? No. I just want to hoard it to myself. I have one medal. All right, I know. Oh, no. Come on, land grabs. I know there was some stuff around here. Oh, fossils. Great. The only thing I really don't care about. Also, if you never noticed, there behind the land grab house is another entrance to the cave. I don't know why they have two entrances to the same cave. It's not like you, like, when you exit, you go out to the other side. I'm not sure. So do whatever you will with that lore. Finding a couple things. A couple things is better than nothing. It's so dark. It's so hard to see my eyes. My special, my brand. My special eyes. I don't care about frogs. I care about metals and crystals. <gasps> yes, metals and crystals. Metals and crystals. Crystals, country boy, I love you. <laughs> Why do I always go back to that meme? I can't get it out of my head. Country boy, I love you. <laughs> ah, save. You're right, I should save. Saving, saving, thank you for all the spam saves. Mm hmm. <laughs> With Jeep, 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 Jeep. <laughs> Use your special eyes and read these save reminders. <laughs> I get there. I'm focusing. I'm focusing. I get a second when I get a second. It's freaking land grabs in their freaking gorgeous house. I wonder who who created this house. I don't know who could have been. Who 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 could have redecorated such a masterpiece? Just straight from the heavens right here. I ain't even a bougie person. I can't even think. I think that is all of the locations over here for now. I would like to stop one more place and see if that will have anything more for me. I never go to the public districts and, lush, and look. I'm starting to think I should. Oh, the Thatcher household. How sad. We'll go here. He's a wave baby. He said, don't touch me, mother. I don't know what's on. I, I'm on something tonight, guys. I would like to formally apologize right now. Oh. Yeah. I have the song. Oh, mama, I'm just having fun on the stage. In my heels. <laughs> Pink pony girls. It sounds like the shrimp. It sounds like the shrimp from the one meme. Oh my god. The uh she had a baby and the baby and the mother died. I can't, like, I can never say the whole thing, but it makes me laugh every time I hear it, but I never know how to say it. <laughs> she, and I have to take care of the baby. <laughs> she has no arms and no legs, but I work two shifts at the factory. Yeah, the shark tails, the shark tails people. Oh, a, fire ha a fire has started at this house, but, uh, well, I'm not visiting that house so oh my god what if she dies 
Well, this is like a this is like a Discovery Channel moment. Like I can't intervene. That sounded like a promotion to me. Like I can't intervene. Is, is she gonna die? Her husband is panicking in the background. Oh oh oh! They're evacuating to safety. I thought she was gonna catch on fire. Oh, that's a little disappointing. Oh, it's spreading to the outside of the house. That's really sad for them. It's a lovely house they have here. It's modeled after after the one in The Sims 3. The land grab house in The Sims 3. Yeah, it looks like they're all fine. Uh, kind of sadly. You know, I guess you can only do so much when you look for tragedies in The Sims. This household that I made is really funny, too. It's actually <laughs> inspired off The Sims 3 cover. Sims 3 console... Case. Um, it's inspired after Sims on the cover art of the Sims 3 case. It's inspired on these three right here. Because I, like, you never see them, you know, in the game. They're not characters that are actually in the game. But I always got the idea of, like, these were two best friends. This one's, like, a music-y guy. And this one's kind of more nerdy, rugged kind of. And she's, like, the hussy who's dating this guy, but cheating on him with his best friend. This is what I imagined as a child. And I made them um, in my Sims 3, when I played the Sims 3 on console, and I made this storyline, and it was such, like, it was such a fun storyline for me to play with as a kid in this, in the Sims 3 household, in this one. Um, so I re, I remade the house from the Sims 3, and I remade these Sims. <laughs> And I made him look a little nerdier, like he's a nerdy, nerdy guy, but, and then his best friend, you know, who's a musician and like, she's trying to cheat on him with him. Like she's really got a thing for him, but she's like married to him and he hates her. Like the blonde guy hates the blonde girl. And he's like, bruh, you got to break up with her. She's using you. She's like, not really into you. And he's like, nah, she loves me. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's just what I did as a kid. That was, that's, that's what I did. <laughs> I'm going to travel to, oh, I can't travel because of the fire? Oh, crap. I'm a, I'm a vampire. I hope I don't start getting cooked out here. Is your house still on fire? Can I, like, knock on the door or something so I can, like, come in and help you guys out? I'm on fire. Gosh darn it. Oh, she rode her broom finally. I guess she can only do it outside. Can I extinguish? I'm on fire, but I have to extinguish your freaking fire. You guys couldn't do this in your house? Now I gotta come risk my vampire butt around flames while I'm in flames? I can't go home right now. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Put it out. Oh, well, thank God. All right, hold on. Let me... No, 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 no. Now let me in so I can freaking stop dying for like five seconds. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm not going to fry now. I just wanted to... Oh, that's unfortunate. That's like actually a lot of damage. Oh, and yep, you just go eat your food like nothing happened. Yep. Oh, such a cute little house. I always loved this house. Of course, this was supposed to be a garage, but you know, Sims 4 don't have garages still. Not even a door for fake garages, but such a nice house. Oh, I love this house. Oh, missing a wallpaper in this room and some other stuff, but yeah, it's fine. It still serves its purpose. All right, let's go home. Oh, missing some furniture. Also, this used to have couches and chairs. <laughs> Looks like I've deleted those since. Mm. <laughs> Define child age. Sim 3 came out in 2009. Let's see. I think I was like 12. 
I think I was 12, I guess. Child. <laughs> teen. Pre-teen. <laughs> I feels like I was so much younger, though. Are we sure I was 12? That does not feel right. I still felt like a child. I mean, I, what, that, that is still a child, but... Hmm. Hmm. Way to go, Sims firemen. Right, they never show up. <laughs> they never come when needed. Also, Alucard, you were promoted, right? Yes! Okay, we are finally done with Generation 4 and Generation 5, which means we can fully focus on Gen 6 now, which is exactly what I wanted. Thank goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I am so done with the other generations. I want to fully focus on my new one. Evolve. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, evolve my crap. All right. Go in the house. What do I do now? Uh, I need to win three duels. And, oh, I need to work on our jewelry making. Let's go make some jewelry, and then we'll go to the spellcaster realm. So many levels down. All right. Design jewelry. Wait. Do I need to design jewelry, or do I need to just cut gems? Either will get me what I need, right? Gemology... I don't think it matters. I guess let's go ahead and cut a gemstone. With some things that I have. See how that goes? Sup? Sam, I was playing with dolls for longer than a minute as a kid. You know what? I find that so sad today that not enough kids play barbies still or play with their like american girl dolls or whatever like branding of toy you had brats Polly pockets little pet shops barbies uh, american girl doll, whatever you had as a child you know i think a lot of kids don't play with them anymore like i remember my friends and i used to play with barbies and dolls and stuff up until we were like i think i finally let go of dolls in the fifth grade um, I think that's when I stopped playing with my Barbie and Bratz and stuff like that when I was bored. Because, I don't know, I felt like at that point I was like, I was too grown up for dolls. So I think in the fifth grade I stopped. Gosh. Ah. Athena! Athena! Oh, Thank you so much for that 29 month resub! Oh my gosh, honey, we are almost at freaking three months. 30 months. Good lord. <laughs> How do my best sellers make like no money? I guess they're not on the red, the docket. Lydia, why do you have a romance skill? Who are you flirting with? It's definitely not Hobo Jesus because apparently you two hate each other. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Hobo Jesus, that's beautiful. Wow, such art. Still gonna sell it though. Three whole months. <laughs> Shut up, I meant 30. Too many iPads and tech stuff. Like, I don't have, like I have not yet purchased, I try and I'm not going to for a while. I have not yet purchased an iPad for my son. I have my work iPad. Um, But Max and I have like rules that Ryder is not allowed to like, Hold on to my phone and watch something. Like, if we're in a pickle, like, say he is just having a terrible, terrible time and we're in public and stuff like that, the only time I will bust out my phone for a video is if he is in a complete meltdown moment and I need him to, like, take a second. Um, but he's not allowed to hold my phone. He's not allowed to have control of his screens. He just, if he gets to watch something, it's what Matt, what's what Dad and I put on. Um... And I don't want him to have his own tablet for a long time because he just doesn't need it. So, 
I'm hope like he does really good at playing with things. Now, does do we have the TV on in our house a lot? Yeah. My TV is always on. It always has something. <laughs> so he will see something that we have on the TV. But I don't sit down and make him watch it. He's free to go in and out of the room or go into his playroom and play with things. And sometimes I put music up on his on his TV in his room with like a little nature video or something like that. But I'd rather he just play with toys. <laughs> Um, sometimes he'll come up to me and he'll start like pulling on me and whining on me and I'm like I try not to fix the issue right away because I know he just wants me to do something with him which also sounds bad but like I also want him to learn that when he's bored I'm not gonna fix it all the time when he's bored he needs to like kind of try and find something to do which has worked lately like sometimes he'll come up to me and I know it's just because he's bored. Like, there's nothing wrong. He's just eaten. He's just had a drink and stuff like that. We were just snuggling on the couch. And so it's not like he needs, like, a bunch of attention at the moment. And sometimes I'll just, like, kind of ignore the cry. And for a few minutes, I'm not letting my son cry it out, okay? <laughs> but I let him be bored. Because then he always goes and does something. Like, he'll go to his bookshelf and he'll start reading his books to himself. Now, he's one and a half years old. <laughs> he's not reading his books, but he likes flipping through the pages. And I love when I see him doing that. He loves reading his books. But sometimes I just want him to find something to do for himself. Something to do when he's bored. So that's what I'm trying to teach him right now is that he can... He has options. <laughs> he doesn't need to be watching a show with me. Aha, Branka. Uh, first kid was super easy, no tech. The second kid, no. <laughs> oh, it's sad because, like, they can get really addicted to it, and then I feel bad. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I should... I'm not gonna... This one's, like, rare, so I'm gonna use a more common one for now while we're first learning how. I don't want to screw anything up. Independent play is super important. And he's really good at independent play. Like, he does. Like, he'll go and he messes with his tract. My son is interested in everything. Cars and tractors and anything with wheels. He's, like, super into. I don't know how. <laughs> I was trying to make him a dinosaur kid. <laughs> and it didn't work. He likes dinosaurs, but not like cars. He can say car and tractor. He'll say tractor, tractor. Ka, ka, and he says car like a British person. He's ka, ka, and tecta, tecta. Um, and he's gotten really into monster trucks lately. Like my husband threw up a video of just monster trucks to watch, and Ryder was obsessed with it. He was obsessed with it. He just kept staring at it, and he would get so excited, like watching the video of a monster truck. And we we're like, our kid's a car kid. <laughs> our kid is a car kid. <laughs> Oh, apparently he's from Boston. Ka! <laughs> he says ka, ka all the time. He doesn't say car. He says ka, ka. <laughs> Not shaming anyone who uses screen time, but please teach your kids how to function in society alongside it. Yes, 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 yes. Rag does. Preach, 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 preach. It was really nice. Like, Max and I, um, we took Ryder to the zoo the other day. And after we went to the zoo, we wanted to stop and get lunch before we drove home because the zoo's like an hour and a half away from us. So it's quite the drive for him. And we wanted to give him lunch before we left. That way he could sleep in the car on our way home. And we went to a beer barrel and he was so good. He did so good in the restaurant. Was he loud? Yeah. It's because he gets excited. Then he goes, get, 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 get. And he like says it so loud. <laughs> it's not like he's screaming or yelling or something like that. He just gets so excited. And he starts like, he wants to be a part of like all this conversation he sees happening around him. And so he like stands up. We usually, I like to try and get a booth. That way he can stand on the wall side of the booth and be trapped in between me and the wall. And he just stands there and he goes, get, 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 get. <laughs> And he's so loud. <laughs> but he, it's not being bad. He's just excited. Um, but he did great. You know, he did some coloring with us. Well, his version of coloring, which is just smashing the crayon into the pen over and <laughs> the paper over and over again. But 
He was just being such a good boy. And the only time that we busted out um, our phone for a sec was so me and dad could eat real quick because he liked to, uh, he kept trying to touch things and move things and stuff like that. And he kept getting distracted by everything around him um, when he was eating his food and Max and I were like shoveling our food in our mouth. <laughs> and so for like 10 minutes, I like put the phone down in front of him so he could eat and watch it while me and Max ate our food real quick. <laughs> so I was a screen parent for a sec, but like I said, he doesn't get to hold it. I have to put it far back. So it feels more like a TV versus something he controls. So now that you guys are here for parenting advice, half of you don't even care. I'm sorry. I get st I get stuck talking about my kids and then I can't stop. So if you guys don't want to hear about kid talk, I say kids like I have multiple. My child. I just yeah, I just love talking about kid stuff. I went to uh, school. <laughs> I got my early childhood education degree, my bachelor's degree. Um. Yeah, and I, it's, I just get so sucked into these topics. He's an artist. He just oh smashes that crayon. <laughs> it's shocking how many kid, parents send kids to daycare with tablets. Oh, I hate that. Like, no, they're here to play and interact with other kids. Get the tablet out of here. Because then I have the entire classroom sitting around like, not anymore, but I used to. Like, have one kid sitting around everybody's tablets. And so I used to have to start telling parents, like, nope, it goes in the book bed. So, like, no, it goes in the book bed. I used to, have to do the same thing with toys with parents. Like, I kind of hated it when parents let their kids bring toys to take care. Because now I'm liable if the toy gets lost or broken. And I hate that. Like, I have... Four t I had, I don't work in childcare anymore, but I had 14 kids to watch. I am not here to make sure that the, nothing happens to their toy. So I would tell parents and kids, like if they brought a toy or something like that, I'd be like, hey, can you put it in your book bag? I just don't want it to get lost or stolen. I don't want fights between other kids because some kids trying to play with your kid's toy. I'm like, just put it in the book bag. Just put it in the book bag. I don't want it to get lost or stolen or broken or cause fights. I have plenty of toys for them to play with. So, <laughs> just put it away. <laughs> so, tablets and toys. I hate it when parents brought to daycare because they cause fights and kids argue over them and it's just annoying. I can't. Yes, kiss it and say goodbye and safe in your back. Now, I would allow, like, stuffed animals for nap time only if they didn't play with it. You know, if it didn't become a distraction during nap time. Like, if they had a baby doll that they slept with during nap or, like, a blanket, you know, I'd let them have that. But my stipulation for the parent was they can totally have it. But um, if it becomes a distraction, I, I do have to ask that it goes back in their book bag. But, uh, so, yeah, if any of you are parents, <laughs> please don't let them bring in toys and tablets to daycare. It's just too much. It's more work than the uh, teacher should have to deal with. <laughs> Or yes, like don't even let it come out into the daycare. Keep it in the car. <laughs> and like, I wasn't mean about the, my rules to the parents. I'd be like, hey, I just have a strict like no toy, like no outside home toys rule in my classroom. I just have had too many issues in the past and I just would like to try and avoid those. Like, you know, I like I had policies and things like that for my classroom and I was very open and honest to the teacher or to the new parents like that I had every year, like same ground rules. I would send like a like a sheet home. I'd be like, hey, no outdoor toys, you know, blah, blah, blah. Please make sure your name's on everything. You know, this the standard stuff I feel like, but maybe I'm mean for that. I don't know, but that was always my rules when I was a teacher. I have a three-year-old, so I get it. And I love hearing about other parents' stories. It's like, ooh, give me the tea. Give me the tea. I'm predicting that he's going to be an MLB all-star pitcher. Keen, I'm telling you, Max and I would be so proud if he was super into baseball when he grows up. Of course, we're never going to force him into a sport, but I would love it. If he played baseball, um, Max and I are both, like, we like watching baseball, so I can def see us, uh, definitely see us being really interested <laughs> and very supportive of him in baseball and stuff like that. So if he did, that would be pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, how are we doing with the gemology skill? We're already at level four, almost level five. We're, do we're cooking. We're doing pretty good here. She's going to need to... 
<gasps> oh my god, our vampiric energy is almost non-existent. Oh god, get this in a coffin. Get her in a coffin. Oh my god, sleep. Sleep, 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 honey. I'm so sorry. Hurry, go. I don't know if you die or something. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I don't know if they die when this gets low. <laughs> go, 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 go. How do we feel about the gem pack? I had a very good review about that. I liked the gem pack. For being a stuff pack, it was surprisingly well developed. I, I enjoyed the gem pack. I can't speak for everybody if you're not into it, but I thought it added, you know, quite a bit of functions. Second near death experience for her this stream. I love it. I know she about got burned to death outside and now I about killed her because she had no energy. <laughs> Seems like NASCAR might be more his speed. Ugh. The in the area of Ohio that I live in, um, people are really into sprint car races. If you don't know what sprint cars are. They're a very odd vehicle, but I used to go to sprint car races all the time uh, with my dad and my brother and then with some friends in the future. Max was into it and Max's friends aren't really. Um, they, this, I was more of a hick, <laughs> a redneck, <laughs> but these are sprint cars if you've never seen them. So sprint car races are really what... Um, my family and people in my area are really into so i don't know if Ryder will get into nascar but if he gets into anything like that it's gonna be sprint cars i'm gonna take him to sprint car races soon when he gets a little older and i can put like those like headphones on him um i want to take him to a sprint car race because they're like there's a bunch in my area um so i'm gonna try to take him to a sprint car race in the future. I love those. I haven't gone to a sprint car race in probably like five years. But uh, but I love them. I love them. Ooh, what is... is she hallucinating? What is this? Are we, are we good? Are we done? Um, hey, just for safekeeping, can you like sleep a little more? Because you're not quite full. Yes. Does he have any Hot Wheels? I was a Hot Wheels kid. So he does not have any Hot Wheels right now um, because I was scared he would put them in his mouth and choke on them because they're not super small, but they're kind of small. <laughs> um, so I was planning on getting him some Hot Wheels. So his second birthday is <laughs> coming up. <laughs> he is almost one and a half. Uh, he'll be turning one and a half on October 11th. He'll be one and a half. And um, so his second birthday is right around the corner. And okay, she's thirsty. And I was thinking about um, doing like a car themed birthday party for him. Um, and I was gonna like if people who wants to get gifts, I never, you know, gifts are not necessary. But for people who wanted to get gifts from like my family and stuff, I was gonna recommend to get him uh, anything car themed because he would <laughs> Love that. Love that. Oh, that's right. Her freaking dark form. <laughs> oh, she's a minor vampire now. Well, that's good. Because I can't really keep track of her, her vampire skills. <sighs> oh, crap. Actually, now I can. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. And take a weakness. Why was I eating human foods? Uh. Sure. All right, let's see. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna recommend Hot Wheels and stuff, or like anything car theme. Like especially now that he's into monster trucks, I was gonna like recommend. Um. Anything monster truck related, and, or even Christmas is right around the corner. So we'll see. Why are we so stinky? Girl, I was apparently just neglecting all of Yennefer's needs. 
Because she is in terrible moods. Social vampire. Do, do vampires not pee? <laughs> I guess vampires don't pee. Uh, do, 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 do. I never heard of it. Does he have any hope? Thank you for the protection. He's hearing. Yes. We do a mud bog where I'm from. Oh, I've never heard of a mud bog, but that sounds so cool. Uh -huh. The wheels can pop off, and those are definitely a choking hazard, especially if he's a mouth or chewer. Oh, we gotta go to school? No, wait, pause. They should be an adult by now. They were supposed to age up on Thursday. I'm aging up. We're not. We're done with high school. We are done. You've been teen for quite some time. Wheels can pop off. These are really fun car toys for baby toy brands. You put them in, they go really far forward. Oh, him! I got um, right now. He has cars. Um, that all you have to do is like push them forward, and they'll go really far. Like I remember, like having the ones where you pull back, and they would like go like a slingshot. But uh, these ones that I got him, they'll go in whatever direction you put them in. It's really cool. Set age, young adult. Same for you. We don't need a teens anymore. Set age, Ugh, young adult. I almost hit toddler. I almost hit toddler for him. Okay, I was like, we're really gonna have our birthday outside? Okay, what was the last trait she needs? Um, perfectionist. Perfectionist. That is one that we need. Perfectionist. And, um, uh, spellcrafters and sorcery. Aries, you get. <laughs> Aries is nosy. Sounds about right for him. Not surprised. Oh, wait, I want you to be able to fly anywhere as a bat. I don't think I enabled that for you. Always move as a bat. Same for your brother. Empire, always move as a bat. And I wanted you to come and uh, take a shower over here. See you, a stinky woman. <laughs> So frustrated with my sense now, my sim was running on the treadmill. For the next thing you know, I get a pop-up saying that she was unalive from laughter. You want the what the heck? Oh, that sucks. No. I want to go to a monster truck rally so bad. That's another goal for me and Max, is we want to take Ryder to a monster truck rally when we get the chance. Because <laughs> I think he would really enjoy that, since he is apparently now obsessed with monster trucks. Somehow, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> he has, um, I got him for second Christmas. Um, my... My husband's family, who lives states away, like, comes up you want the um, during the summer. And they, since they aren't around for Christmas, they like to do uh, a Christmas with the kids and stuff. So the kids get a double Christmas <laughs> with his side of the family. So I got him um, some of those big, like, steel trucks for that. Um, like, he likes to take one set outside and... Uh, he hasn't quite learned to, like, he has a dump truck, and he hasn't quite learned that he can put things in the dump truck, and then, like, so, um, and unload and load it. So, I can't wait till he figures that out. You guys have a Christmas in July, that's awesome. Yes! Sometimes, sometimes it lands in August, but yeah, for Max's family that doesn't get to, uh, because they live in, like, Florida for some parts of the year. Um, for the cold parts of the year. So, so, so they don't come down for Christmas. They like to do Christmas when they're in town. Which is usually in the summer when they come to visit. What is the purple bird following her? So this is, um, my sim is a spellcaster. So this bird that is following her is actually an owl. And it is known um, as a familiar in the game. You can have multiple different kinds of familiars in the game. Um, I actually have a couple. 
I'm just doing the owl for now because I like to try and give all the familiars a job. Like, I like to have them follow their my sim around for a couple days and then do a new one. My son turned two a couple weeks ago and I got him a light up busy board, a huge hit. Oh, that sounds so fun. Like, is it like a, I'm imagining like a light bright. <laughs> I'm imagining a light bright. My brother used to have one. I remember um, when we were little, but he blames me and my sister for losing all the pegs. But does anybody else remember light brights? I... Those were so fun. I'm sure they were like choking hazards and things and people used to eat the pieces and stuff like that. But I loved light, uh, light bright. It was my brother's, so he would also get really upset when we touched it, but it was fun while we had it. Like selling all these different things in her inventory and trying to be very careful not to sell anything that I use. <gasps> How do we have $81,000? Yeah, we're doing really good. Did somebody drink from you? Oh, Mr. Clean. <laughs> Someone around here must have been really hungry because they took a nice chomp out of Mr. Clean, it looks like. I gotta start building more areas of the castle on. So we have $82,000 to work with right now. So I don't think we need to go dumpster diving for a while. Somehow we are raking in the cash. And eating Polly Pocket clothes, yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sell those. How are we doing with the skill? We might actually get the gem cutting skill a lot faster because we're already halfway through level five. So this might not take too long to get at all. Stop! Everybody who wants to keep playing the woohoo game with her, stop you being creeps. In addition, after you sell this, let's go ahead and go to the spellcaster realm. So we can start doing some duels. Because I actually I should be working on that. Travel to the magic realm. Mr. Clean, we're not playing the game with you. It's weird. Leave us alone! <laughs> Oh, honey, you need to get a little better on that broom. Do we get, like, points for our, like, wizarding spells every time we do that? How are we not getting fun? We have done nothing but fun stuff. Carving gemstones for hours, sleeping in a, in a coffin, hunting for crystals. I don't know how she's not having more fun. Hobo Jesus paintings are raking it in. I think it's like all of our royalties too for the books that we've been writing. I think we can get a couple thousand dollars every time uh, the royalties come in because we wrote a lot of books. We have written a lot of books. <gasps> Mac Muffin, no! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> nice passive income. We love that. Oh, Mac Muffin. <laughs> I would love to write a book. I need to write a book. I want to write a book so bad. I just, um, I need to, I need to do it. I just need to do it. Just do it. All right, we need to have three duels, but also I kind of want to go check out what's over here. So let's go this way. Oh wait, I'm gonna have uh, Aries come here. Oh, here's somebody that's practicing their magic. Hold on. Let's uh, let's duel this guy. Spells. No, wizard stuff. Oh, I'd rather not interact with people unless I really want to. Who are you? Regina George. Regina George is a vamp. Is a vampire. Is a spellcaster. Was not Kristoff. Kristoff is. I'm looking for Coraline. 
Aries, is your girlfriend here? Oh, it's Ross Geller again. Making up a song about Coraline. <gasps> she is here. She's a freak. She's a I don't think that she's a freak is a lyric. She's a pal of mine. She's as cute as a button in the eye. Why does it keep putting them back down to negative? Romance. They have a romance. And I'm about to have the mask to be boyfriend girlfriend. Because they're now old. Alright. Let's see what we all got over here. Johnny! I like Johnny. I'm fine with uh, introducing herself to him. Okay, the butterfly, the dragon. We have the owl already. I want to get some different tomes for spells. And I am satisfied with her wand. Oh, a thousand dollars? Drop in the bucket, honey. Drop in the bucket. Uh. Like, I bet people are really confused at how she's teleporting around like a vampire, but also as a spellcaster. Um, I'm gonna purchase some more crystals. The rocket broom. I don't really want the rocket broom, but I'll just purchase some of these crystals. Now, I didn't really stop at this last one. Also, this is so cute. I love how items over here are just suspended. Like, and are going up and down. Like, it's such a nice touch. Like, the little, like, how you can peek into, like, these different homes that are, like, breaking apart. And, like, they have items just floating and they're all just, like, suspended in time. I wish you could go up in them because this is, it's so cool. Like, I really do like this. I feel like Realm of Magic could have been so much more... Because this is, what is that noise? Oh, I thought somebody just found out they were pregnant and I was like, excuse me? No. All right, and a strawberry, I guess, and unobtainium. There. All right, can we challenge Johnny to a duel now? Yes. Let's do a duel for now. I'm always going to do a duel for knowledge. That way we can learn different spells. It's Ryan Vergara! You want the spoon! Oh my god. Ugh, I should write again, and maybe we can add a writing challenge accountability for a goal on Discord. Oh my gosh. I'd love that if we all just held each other accountable for that. Like, hey, everybody out there who wanted to write a book, I want you to write one page of your book today. <laughs> and if you write one page a day of your book, you'll be done in a year. The thing that for me that's intimidating about writing a book is like finding a publisher, getting somebody to do the art for your book. Like, how do you know how to do all that stuff? It's so scary. <laughs> oh, we gotta wait for Johnny to be here because he's a stupid human who has to like walk here and we can just fly a broom or vampire teleport. See, he been coming. Johnny? 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 Hey, Aries, I would like you to still be over here. And maybe, I don't know, first kiss your girlfriend or something. Donna? Donna? Oh, there he is. Finally, when I focus the camera on him. All right, let's see. Are we gonna be a Johnny from Hotel Transylvania today? Hey, Johnny! We were supposed to duel. Johnny, no!
Go ask him again. Come on, Johnny. I don't want to have. I gotta do three of these battles. Could you just? Could we just? Hurry up. I want a duel for knowledge. <laughs> Cause I have to win three duels, and I feel like I can win against you. I'd like to not. Or do my sims not know how to do anything? Are we in that stage where we're just kind of stuck? Nope, apparently Johnny's just snubbing me. Mm. We read a book about it probably. That's how I figure out things. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I hate this thing where like my sims are like stuck. They don't know what they're doing. They're just standing and staring at each other all the time. Like, I don't know what it is or why my sins do that. I think my game can just can't handle itself anymore. It just can't handle it. Haha! -ha, I beat you to it, Mac Muffin. Oh, I already saved. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Coraline. Could I potentially you. duel you, even though I know. You're gonna wipe the floor with me because you are apparently a master. And of untamed magic to boot. Ah, uh, Daryl! Daryl, can I fight you? Somebody, I just want to fight people. <laughs> Uh, Rogue Angel, thank you so much for the two month resub! Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Come on! Let's go! Let's move! Let's do something! Is she gonna accept my duel for knowledge? Are we going? Can we just do this anywhere? Is she gonna reject me? Why? Are we gonna do it? It doesn't feel like we're doing it. Daryl! Daryl, my main man! Can we please? Friendly, friendly introduction. I don't think it's gonna work out with me and Coraline. She's doing the fancy turkey over here. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, and we got the orange. Last exception. <laughs> Alert. Sweet. Where did Daryl just go? Now I lost him. I guess I could... I'm trying not to have her introduce herself to so many sims. You want the spoon! You want the spoon! It doesn't feel like we are doing it. That's what she said. Oh my god. I'm trying! I'm trying to do something over here. I'm trying. I'm trying to find people I feel like I can win against. Elsa, she like freaking pierced her sister through the heart. I I don't want to fight her. Why? Just do something. Just talk. Please. Why are we standing here doing nothing for hours? Is that it? Did we did we finally do something? No. Okay. More hours of standing here staring at Sims, just trying to do enough duels to. Did anything over here? Is it the lot? Is there just too many? Is it just too much around here? I mean, I can understand if this lot is too much, but that's why I was trying to do things way over there. Okay, now we're talking a little bit. Uh -huh. Let's see how this goes. <gasps> Finally? Finally. Finally? 
finally. Please, please. Please. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to win this because apparently Chloe's pretty scaled. But I really hope this goes well for me. I don't think we're doing this. Daryl! There you are! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I think you need a reset. I just repaired my game last night! I just repaired it! Okay, here we go. Finally! Okay, now we just have to win it! Now we just have to win the duel. Totally not complicated. We can totally do this. Not an issue. Sorry, I'm just gonna get a nice little... Yeah. Are we winning? No, I don't think we won. Dang it! Ugh. Daryl? Daryl? Oh, I could always talk to the shadow man. Daryl, there you are, honey. <gasps> we need to have any friends with Thorn! We need to be friends with Thorn. In the introduction. Aries, where's your girlfriend? Can you propose to her? You guys have had a really nice time. It seems like you guys are moving on up in the world. Propose to her. So I can have you guys get married. And you're also thirsty. Well, she needs to be careful. Or she needs to be chill with this. Wait, before you go anywhere, Thorn, please don't be your friend. I wish they would just let my Sanderson sisters show up in the outfits. Like, just let them wear the outfits that I have designed them with. Like, wow, look at that. So much better looking. This one, too. Sarah Sanderson. I hardly recognized her. Let them wear the outfits that I put them in, because now they look so much better. Oh, she is. Really? <laughs> cross hide right now. But they would look so much better. Look, Barry Sanderson, here too. Yeah, see, just let them wear the fits that I put them in. They'll look so much better. Thorn would even look better too. And you guys may be thinking that this is an insignificant detail, but it is. I don't spend all this time to make beautiful looking sims just for them to show up looking ugly. No Hello, Ross. Dag Looking great. Uh, dag dag. Camus. Hello. Um, I would like to challenge you to a duel you. for home, knowledge. Aw, oh, yes. Aries and Coraline, you guys definitely have a wholesome dynamic. So, Coraline, we'll be inviting you over to our house later so we can move Aries in with you. Alright, but they are dueling now. Come on, let me win this duel. I just need to win this. Gorgeous Sims. I work hard, okay? I work hard. I work hard for the money. Okay, could anybody do something? Maybe throw the first punch? You guys are both very pretty. Just do something. Please do something. Anything at all. Oh, here we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I think we threw the first punch. Looking nice. Looking a nice. A few moments later. <laughs> a few moments later is precise. Yes. Thank you, Tyler. <gasps> yes, we won. We've discovered a new spell. And the spell is infatuation, which I'm guessing means we can make people fall in love with us. I'm here for it. All right, let's go for Sarah Sanderson now. Oh, never mind. I lied. She left me. You. You look like a worthy adversary. And I need more duels. And this is not us making friends with people. This is just us here for duels. We're not 
trying to socialize a bunch or just trying to win? Praise Colette. Please and thank you. You beautiful, beautiful woman. Yummy do you. Why do we have two bars for you? Okay, like I just said, I'm not here to socialize. I'm here to duel. For knowledge and spells, that's it. Yes! Oh, this is going so much nicer. Oh, she's got a pretty wand, too! She's got a nice wand! Look at that! It's got a little star on it. Super cute. Now I'm scared, because she has a pretty wand. <laughs> How to intimidate Amanda 101 to have better things than her. <laughs> oh my goodness. We also need to do a Hunger Games, too. Oh, that doesn't look well for me. Do I have two Shadow Mans here? That's the Shadow Man, and... Are you also the Shadow Man? Oh, no. Oh, you're Chifu! Oh, you're from Mulan! You did not look like that. Outside of your apparel. Did I win? <gasps> I won! Magic man! Shadow man. You seem to be laughing. Do you think you could do a better job? I dare you. Do your worst. But not actually. Come on, one more duel. One more duel. Come on, 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 come on. Don't be scared. I mean, fear me, but, like, also, just let me win. Please! Sims. We were doing so well. We were running so smoothly. Can we bring that back? Thank you. Alright. We're facing each other. And now you say... Hello. Hello. Oh. And now we duel hey, for knowledge. Come on, 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 come on. I can beat him. I know I can beat him. Yes. But it would look so much better uh. if he was dressed how he was supposed uh -huh. to be. Thank you. Now it feels more real. <laughs> Let's go! All right, Hooter. We need to bring in one more little win here. I'm sorry, is that Sophia Knight? Why is she coming in as a... Oh, it's because... Her last name was changed. Make sure she's not fully charged up. She's mid-charge, she's mid-charge. I think we're safe. <gasps> oh, I love it when she flings him around like that. But we did it! Yes, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and practice a little mischief magic while we at it. But what spell did I learn? Yennefer has discovered a new spell called Florio. And we have also learned a spell called Furio. So let's go ahead and check it out. For practical magic, we know three spells. We know how to repair broken objects, make something or someone squeaky clean, or keep your health plancy. Plancy. Keep your health healthy and bug free is the spell that we just learned. For mischief magic, we have Disparrow. Fill a sim's mind with feelings of intense sadness. Reach into a sim's head and scramble their thoughts. We are able to convince two sims to fight with each other. That is another one that we just learned. That could be really funny. And convince two sims to get romantic with each other. So not us, but somebody else. Okay. Um, we can also light someone on fire. We can electrocute someone. Oh, that's it. I need to work on my untamed magic, actually. I don't have a whole lot for untamed magic. Are we getting charged up? I don't think so. It was all skill from winning a magic duel, having familiar nearby. 
charge from spellcaster charge. There's also the possibility of becoming cursed, so cast carefully. I don't think I'll become cursed. I think we're fine. <laughs> Hi, Mindy! I'm sure we won't be cursed or anything like that. I hope. I mean, I would think we're fine, but... Mm. You know, I need to start playing Paleo again. I see a good amount of people watch people play Paleo. I think Paleo is more popular than The Sims right now. Let me see. Let me look at the numbers of people watching people play Paleo. Paleo has currently 1,500 viewers. Maybe it's not as big as I thought. What about The Sims 4? How many people are watching The Sims 4 right now? 1,600. Okay. So good, but medium good. Ooh, I'm in the third row of The Sims. Nice. Not too bad. Uh, he likes fitness. Yes, he can like fitness. Fitness is fine. I would love it if you streamed Paleo. I love the game Paleo. Oh, I need to start streaming more. I really do. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We have written sixteen books. Plus three bestsellers. And they're all pulling in at least over a hundred dollars, so. We get quite a bit of money for uh for her books all the time. She's super close to becoming an adept. Spellcaster too. How do I Your powers of the magical arts is getting recognition, the magical care package is an everyday essential, and up and coming spellcaster, be sure to check your mail. We get stuff in the mail. Oh, I got spells right here I could read. Let's have her study those. Let's go ahead and also open up a couple things. And let's go ahead and bind another familiar. Do we want the the butterfly? Oh, I think we are. I think we are getting a little much. I saw some charge around her. So how do I discharge? Oh. I don't like that word alone. Ooh. What a pick. So, what familiar do we want to do next, guys? Do we want the Bunnerfly? The dragon? Here, let me do a pull. Let's do a pull. Do we want the dragon? The I have no idea what a butterfly is. So we'll see what that is. Or we have the raven. The butterfly or the dragon. Those are the three familiars I have on me to do. So go ahead and cast your vote as to which uh, familiar you guys want me to do next. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and where are the books that she was just studying? All of my books just disappeared. I oh, don't tell me I like sold them on accident. Where did they go? Where did all my books just go? Did, did I put them away? Confusion. Search for tomes. You want the food. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, the glow frog. I can just steal that? 
Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, but I want to. I'm gonna try not to. All right, but you guys said the dragon, which is a great choice. I'm so glad you guys said that. <laughs> nope, that's the butterfly. I want the dragon. Find familiar. <gasps> Grimmy! I'm keeping that name. That is too cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't even care. I like the name Grimmy. That is adorable. Magic. Familiar. Summon the familiars. I always steal those. Oh, but then I'll feel bad. I'm trying to be nice and buy them. Grimmy. All right, let's see what this dragon looks like. I like him! Oh, he's so cute. I love the familiars. I've never used this many. I like it. You know, I'll, I'll take it if I have no more to go and look at. If I have no more. Oh, there's all my books. See? I knew I'd find them. They just weren't showing up at first. All right, study this tome so I can go buy more if I need to. People look away. <laughs> yeah, all the familiars will be around this size. I don't think they'll ever be much bigger than that. Come on, it's not that hard. Just sit, bend your knees. Bend your knees and put your butt on the couch. And then you open the book and you start reading. Thank you, see, that easy. I'm not a high enough spill, I thought I was an adept. Now I can't see my books again. Cool. Thanks. Love it. I love that for me. Fine. Let me visit the shop again. <laughs> oh! oh, honey, I'm sorry. It was not quite the landing I'm sure she wanted. Is that Fred? I don't have time to look. I'm just gonna buy a couple crystals when I see them. What was that? No, that's John Newby. Who's John Newby? Who's John Newby? Oh, that did not help me. Hi, Saber. Hi. I already did that. Thanks for shopping. But I feel like I didn't shop here. Wands, tomes, and familiars. Oh, you, he's putting his head in my in, on my shoulder right now. Did you just want snuggles? Yeah. You just want snuggles. Oh. Y'all can't see this, but he's. I can't. Okay, I can't stream anymore. I'm sorry. He is. Oh, he is rubbing himself into my microphone now. He is all up in my grill. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we got the butterfly, we got the rainbow, stub nose leaf now. Okay, got another one. Um, I think I know that one. Perk of purging, I think I know that. Honey? Oh, Prita. Yeah. You want the spoon! Precious. <laughs> Ooh, keep a song. Ooh. Evil Queen. In the car. Okay, I'm good. Magic. Let's go ahead and practice our untamed magic, because I think that's the one I know the least. Spells and high wafers. Hello, pops. You just want all the lovings and affections. All the lovies and attentions. Yeah. While my sim is working on things, we are the distraction team. The distraction team. Why can't you be on camera though and do it? So people can see how cute you are. 
You are shutting so bad. Stop. You just gotta be right where the gnome is at. Ah. Derp nim. Uh, you discovered the new spell, Chilio! Oh, now we can freeze Sims, nice. Let's go ahead and practice more untamed magic because I'm still behind on quite a bit of spells for that one. And how am I doing? Because now you have to get reach uh, spellcaster rank level three. What else do I need to do for hers? So reach level 10 of jewelry making, be a skilled vampire and spellcaster, which we are on our way to both. Um, have no other friends, yep, got it. Wow, hers is actually really low with requirements, but uh, it just takes a bit of time. I think honestly, the, sp the hardest part for her is the spell crafter, spell craft, craft, and sorcery. Oh, now he's laying over where you guys can't see him. Sorry. Do anything else? Gonna learn a spell? Now, I gotta decide though. When do I give birth to the next gen? Because technically, I can have her give birth whenever, because she's just gonna be doing either a science baby or something. Um. So really, her her generation's not gonna take that long. Um, when do I go ahead and get her pregnant? Hmm, when should I do that? You need to work on potions just in case you do get cursed. I think there's a potion that will take away curses. I do, I should put, work on some potions. Can we get child support if we one night stand a fella? Ooh, true. We'd get for like forever child support. Actually, we'd only get child support until they're a young adult, which I think will actually pass really fast for us. But I think you guys were wanting Callum to be their one night stand, and I haven't seen him in a minute. Yeah, oh God, Cameron McLovin's over there. Of course, he's over here. Yeah, you guys liked Callum a lot. And he's not here as of right now, but... Maybe I should have her go get pregnant by him soon. Okay, we are getting really close to getting the next skill, which is what we need. Uh, you know what, Aries? You and Coraline have been hanging out here long enough. Why don't we do a nice little... Actually, I lied. No, never mind. I'm not done here. Income source. I think we try and do that, actually. Maybe I can try and get Callum to come out over here. I think we should get her pregnant. And then we'll just like keep grinding away with her. Let's go ahead and get generation seven on the docket. Cause I am actually done with generation four and five now. So I have more time to balance two gens around again. Cause I have two other gems off the docket. So let's actually do that. Let's do that. Let me just pull this up a little higher here. Oh my gosh, also we're getting $2,000 from Alucard's job every time he goes to work, so we also have that going for us. Callum. I might have to just actually summon him. Alright. over here how cute magic 
spells. Infatuate. Can I do myself? I can't do myself! Oh, well, that sounds like a weird thing to say. But that would have been better. Hmm. Romance. I mean, let's just see. Try for a new pirate. Let's just see if he'll go for it. All right, Aries, I'm going to go ahead, try and get things going with her. Yennefer, you gotta move. Oh, I think they're moving. I think things are happening now. Finally, good. Let's just see if he goes for it. Maybe he'll just be fine with this. Nope, nope, not fine with it, not fine with it. Nope, we never asked, never happened. I don't know. What are you talking about? That's so fast. Oh. oh. Yeah, it still happened. What about a casual flirt? You know, I know we're not really close, and there's like a, oh, a spellcaster party going on tonight. Oh, well, that's why everybody's here. And it's just so awkward, us just sitting on the couch together, and he's like totally ignoring me and stuff like that. Oh, but what if I just like kind of snuck something in here real quick. <laughs> Maybe a nice bold pickup like, stop talking to everybody else. Compliment his appearance, because he is quite the catch. He is uh, quite the cutie. Uh -huh. But do not go talk to your, uh, nice see, you yes, you can see your brother is having a very intimate moment with his fiance. And you are trying to jump back <laughs> and be right next to him like you are in the womb again. Why is this one child always here now? Ma'am, don't be shy. Sit down. Remember, remember, you just gotta bend the knees. Bend the knees and sit down. Next, you can do it. Oh, come on, Yennefer. Come on, Yennefer, you can do it. There you go. I knew you could. All right. We're doing good things so far. Affection. Let's look deeply into his eyes. No, she's not romantic. We are just trying to get a Babalu inside us. Okay, that's it. Sabine Saquinario Sabart. Pima Blashu Organart. Florib Essenoy. Drainim Dugma. Ask for him to massage us. That way he is like. Shoulders, and maybe that'll get him to like it. Oh, you have those beautiful eyes. Do you like my cat like eyes? I know they're quite irresistible. I heard my mother couldn't resist them on my father. I do have my father's eyes, did you know? He's like, We both have pointy ears, a trait I see both of us really enjoy in each other. Could go great in my next child. Do not talk to Coraline. You are busy. Speaking of, actually, of getting busy, Aries, why don't you try for a baby with Coraline? That way when you move out, you can go have a baby. That would be lovely. Apparently you guys don't want to try for a kid, but you know, that's fine. Woohoo. Lefetel. <laughs> So, so. <laughs> you guys can stop gazing into each other's eyes now. Oh, great, they're stuck like this. Please do anything else. This game, this game is testing my patience tonight. I don't have patience. I am very impatient. And this game constantly breaking is like teeing me off. Great, and they're stuck again. 
Sims, you're killing me. Please, Sims! I'm just trying to do this stuff. Thank you. Oh, great. We're back on the couch. Uh, but it's okay, guys. Remember, we just bend our knees. We bend our knees. <laughs> we sit down. Oh, my God. Please. Just do anything. Please, I'm begging you, please. Thank you. All right, I might have to move yeah. on to woohoo as we speak. Because we can't hardly have their first kiss. Oh. I don't know if it's this lot or not, but it very well could be. It could be this lot. All right, she kissed him for the first time. Oh, is he gonna do this with us or not? Or did he leave? Oh, no, he is. No, no. Callum, don't back away from me now. We almost did it. Fine, let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to ask him to come back to our house because that is infuriating how long things were trying to take on that lot. I don't know if it was the lot or not, but I guess we'll we'll be able to tell in a second. So what are you doing to my stuff over there? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're rubbing your face on my computer? Well, don't peel off my stickers. I like my stickers on my PC. I'd rather they not get ruined and damaged. It took me so long to lay all of these thousands of stickers out <laughs> on this PC. I think covering my PC in a bunch of anime stickers was the greatest decision I've ever made. Because it's so pretty. It is literally a work of art. I love this PC tower. I know you guys can't see it on stream. I've shared it on TikTok a couple times, my setup. I like showed off my PC tower, but it's my favorite thing ever. Just covered in like five of my favorite anime. Ugh. Work of art. <gasps> oh my god, did I not turn off my Discord? <sighs> Normally I remember that, but I did not today. I apologize. Thank you for telling me to turn it off, Ragnus. <laughs> Why are you here, Willowa? What are you doing? Are you biting my cords? Sir? It sounds to me like you are biting my cords. Fucking save, Josie! I will save in a darn second. See, he's here now. Romance. Physical intimacy. Kiss him. And Aries, can you invite Coraline over? Knocking up that song is Coraline. I was gonna say she's a freak, and I don't think that's the lyrics. She's a treat. It's a, she's a treat, isn't it? Right? Joyum Galay. She's a treat. She's a, she's a pal of mine. Tebow. She's Kanir. cute as but in the eyes <laughs> of every everyone who's ever loved Coraline. Ubike Nooch Twe. What? Why didn't you guys tell me sooner that it was going off? I don't pay attention to that stuff. Oh. Callum, don't be difficult. Okay, I just need to get pregnant by you. That is it. How much money? We got $8,000 from her book royalties. That is why we've been getting so much money lately. And that's why we have 10 or, or no. That's why we have 100k currently. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eight thousand dollars every single time she got the reports back. That is amazing. Oops. I hate that my Sims like always reject trying for a baby now. Like I really want a baby. Could you imagine trying to do the one hundred baby challenge and Sims like refuse to try for a baby? 
I don't, I still have no idea what is causing that, but it is so annoying. Like, just let them, like, just let me, as a simmer, have Sims try for a baby if I want them to. <laughs> if their romance is high enough, that should be all I need. But, but this has been a serious issue for me for a long time. Stop eating my cards! Uh, <gasps> proposing marriage? Oh, oh, we woohooed with him and all of a sudden he wants to marry us? No way. Oh, crap, that affects her. Uh, you didn't ask me that. I'm sorry. Maybe knock me up and then I'll think about it. How about that? I'm pretty sure my risky woohoo is like low right now too, so what if I just spam try for a baby? He can't refuse me every time. Once again, guys, this is for the Sims. This is not for real life. Please always get consent. Consent matters. No means no. Thank you. Um, do not do what I do in the Sims. Thank you. You can't keep refusing me like this. Come on. I just need a baby. That's it. That's all I need. I just need a kid. Neeps da Fonty, huh? Seems da Belfin. But you keep really telling me no! Alright, hold on. Mr. Clean, why are you on that? Really gonna make me do this right now, huh? Thank you for the kisses, Saber. Do you need something? Are you trying to tell me something? Woohoo, pregnancy, risky, woohoo, percentage, young adult. Let's crack that on up to eight. Uh, 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 Saber, thank you. Please don't tell me I need a game reset for that. Sweet. All right, let's get to woohooing again. You know what? You're right. I don't need a baby. I just want. I was gonna say something else, but I really shouldn't say that. Oh, you were knocking my, my mic around, cat. Use the spell. I can't use it <laughs> on myself, sadly. Aries, get out of here. Don't you see a hub of man standing in his underwear in this room? Do you think this is the time? Do you think this is really the time to come bother me about something? Get over here. Aries, get out. Okay, fine. I guess we did not care. <gasps> My crystal trees are grown again. Mr. Clean. I know. Crystal is too uncomfortable. Fine, I'll do it on my own time. So chances are we're like totally pregnant, right? Right? Oh, don't make this one of those endless woohoo. Okay, thank you. Alright, let me just test this real quick. Aries! It's so nice that you and Coraline are here. Could you guys also go woohoo somewhere? Quicks by Hartman. <laughs> <gasps> Crap, we better be pregnant. <gasps> I don't think we are. Crap. Callum, don't leave. Callum, don't leave. Callum, Callum, Callum. Do not make me call you right back over here. You did not get me pregnant. After all that hard work I did, Callum. Callum. Callum! Thank you, Callum. <laughs> Woohoo anywhere, I really don't care. Woohoo in a hot tub. <laughs> Woohoo in the hot tub. Go to the hot tub. <gasps> oh!
Do you did not just scratch up my chair. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Uh, does everybody see what I see? Does everybody see what I see? Who, why, why, where, and why is it? It was that Mr. Clean. Dusk, <laughs> Dusk, be honest with me. Is it Mr. Clean's baby? Is it Mr. Clean's? It's probably Mr. Clean. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Okay, well, um, now we have. Yeah, birth and. She's been pregnant for so long. How have I not noticed? She's already in her third trimester. And I have never noticed. Making up a song about Coraline. Now I feel like I need to go check all my sims. Like, are, are, are any of my other females pregnant? Oh, Barbie. Barbie's been working out. Barbie was kind of kind of tubby for a second there, but apparently she's just been a treadmill queen lately. How about Jesus still looking like a little fluffy man? Same with Nervous. Lydia, are you pregnant by chance? No, she is not. Evangeline. I don't see anything. Lydia. Nothing here. But everybody's thirsty. Come eat. No, I didn't mean to ask for permission. Are you hungry too? Yep, we'll come drink. Why do I have to tell you guys to drink? You have humans here for your picking. You could probably ask your wife. Why are we outside? Why are we outside for this? Have you guys woohoo? Yep, they're woohooing in the tub. Great, awesome. All right, it looks like none of my other females are pregnant. It looks like it's just dusk. And I know that she has spent uh, significant amounts of time with Mr. Clean, but if it's somebody else's baby, I'll be shocked. I'm really hoping it's not Aries. Um, I've been trying to get him out of the house because I've been scared about that. But I guess we'll see. I just don't know how I didn't notice. Like, how did I not notice for so long? You were gone for like a week in the magic realm? Well, true, I was gone in the magic realm for quite some time, but I'd like to defend myself. Uh, freaking wet. Oh, let's not, I wanna learn the mystery of who you're pregnant with, so let's not die before then, how about? Yes, Saber, do you need out of here? Do you need out? Are you looking to get out of there? Yeah, I think you are. Okay. Have all my vampires came and drank? Who need drinks? It's looking like it. You are hopefully at this point pregnant. I don't have a bathroom down here anywhere, so wait, no, maybe I do. No, I don't. <laughs> the closest one is over here. Take a pregnancy test. Aries, I think you and your woman are done. And I think she let him drink. Nope, she did not. No, she did not. Where is she? Oh, she left already. Dang it, Coraline. Uh, cheats, Ugh, summons him here. Coralina. <laughs> Coralina. Coraline, I still want to do something. I would like to have you guys get married. <gasps> Yennefer is pregnant. Okay, perfect. So Yennefer is now pregnant. That is awesome. I think, do I have a place? Oh, wait, I do have a place. I can get married right here. Go here. Oh. <laughs> I 
Coraline, come here. Coraline. Actions. Form a group. Spino? Yeah, froze. You don't have to fly his bat together necessarily. I'm just kind of hoping that you show up over here. Also, can you get in your formal attire? Because if I can have you both get married real quick, that would be sick. <gasps> get married to you. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Get married. Coraline. Oh, and Dusk is going into labor right now, too. Coraline, come on. Please. I'm begging you. Thank you. Get married. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Coraline? Coraline! Please. Why? Why are you being so difficult? This is why I hate it. I hate it when Sims do this to me. Like, please. Yes. Is it happening? Yes. Thank you. Now just get married. Submit to the bit. It's her Anna's defense for self here. Who knew Coraline would get married to anybody that wasn't YB? Oh. 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 how sweet. Well. <laughs> Coraline, you are the love of my life. Yeah, move in together. <gasps> Crap! Okay, hold on. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, I gotta do it the other way. More. You wanna go woohoo? I just wanna see if they can get pregnant. She's not currently. <laughs> Woohoo! Speaking of dusk, go give birth to your baby. I swear, if it's more than one, I am... mm, I'm gonna be so angry if it's more than one. All right, and they're coming to woohoo. Yep, perfect. All right, it is a boy, and we do not know the name yet, so I'll take those boy names now. There is a strong possibility that is that it is potentially Mr. Clean's kid. So maybe something along that line. I don't know. But let's see. Oh, such a... Geet, shut up. <laughs> Mr. Dirty? No, Dirty Dan? Why do you guys always have such mean names? Aww. Mud. I was thinking of things like squeaky or I don't know, <laughs> sponge cobweb. Oh my god, you guys are so mean. You gotta remember this is Dusk's baby too. Scrub Daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Like I'm thinking of like other other cleaner names, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I can have that one. 
Oh my gosh. All right. I picked my five favorites. Your options are Magic, Dirty Dan, Scrub Daddy, Bleach, or Lysol. Bleach and Lysol are honestly my favorite. I have a feeling Scrub Daddy or Dirty Dan's going to win, though. <laughs> Windex! Windex would have been another good one. Windex would have been another good one. Lysander! Oh my god. Fabuloso. If we have a girl, the name should 100% be Fabuloso. If she has twins in the next one's girl, it's Fabuloso. Lysol is simple but so good. Like, yeah, it, like you could believe it's a name that we came up with. But it's a cleaning product and his dad's Mr. Clean. So, but potentially, we don't know if it's him. Pink stuff? <laughs> Pink stuff could be a girl. With, like, actually, it could be a boy or a girl, but it could be, it would be for, funny for the next round, too. Of course, Scrub Daddy wins. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Scrub Daddy Vanderholt. Please be a single baby. I think it's a single baby. Thank God. Okay, it's just Scrub Daddy. Now, moment of truth. Who is the father? It's Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! No! Okay, well, now we have a kid called Scrub Daddy. What am I gonna do with this freaking child? <laughs> what am I gonna do with this kid? Like, are you serious? Oh, jeez, he just got kicked off. <laughs> are you serious? I'm wheezing that scrub daddy one. <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? How dare you! Open his head! <laughs> I know, Princess Ace. How dare they? Lysol would have been perfect. It would have been funny, but subtle. But no, you guys gotta go for the hardcore on this one. How dare you? How dare all of you? And now she's pregnant. You get your dirty butt away from here. You have a son now, apparently. Oh, why are you crying to yourself over here? Scrub Daddy is aged up. This is our Scrub Daddy. Oh, yes. This is... This is our child. This is the future. He is a vampire, if you guys are wondering. He is a vampire. Yep, but that's our that's our little scrub daddy. That's extra funny though because it's Mr. Clean's competitor. <laughs> Drudge be drudging his junk. No! Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if I have a kid or not, but alright. Um Aries. I was hoping to clear up some more space in this household, but it just seems that I just got another one, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of him also. So let's, um, sim commands, maintain sim, move sim, other household, move in with your wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> Goodbye, Aries. It was nice seeing you, but now I have another frickin' sim around here. A farm. Yay, it's like Dust is trying to explain to her grandmother like how this happened. Alright, Dusk. I still have large goals for you over here. Oh, what is my dragon doing over here? We still have things that we need you to do. I would like you to practice. A little bit more magic. You should move out Mr. Clean to be a single father. <laughs> True. You could always do that. Can they go on birth control? That was only ever supposed to have like one kid. 
speaking of people who keep having more children, <laughs> um, every now and then I go check out Lucinda's legacy, like her family. She's got two new sisters. So we knew that her parents had another daughter and her name is Lara, but they recently just had another kid and we named her Luminessa. So by the way, also Lucinda has two sisters named Lara and Luminessa by her parents as well. So she's got two other sisters that she's never met. I love how we're just being a wizard, practicing our spells, pregnant in our swimsuit. I feel like that's quite the vibe. Aries can adopt Scrub Daddy. Oh yeah, Mr. Queen, this is your kid. I don't know if you've noticed that. I'm putting him into a toddler. I'm not waiting super long for him to get an age up out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew Scrub Daddy would be kind of a demon child. Which is why I'm gonna try and get him out of here. One, two, three. He's mean. Sweet. You're not mean, but fussy. Oh, Scrub Daddy. <laughs> you are one interesting, interesting sim. That's for sure. Get effort, discover the new spell. Practice magic. Practical magic. The spell. Burglarite? What's burglarite? Acquire something that doesn't belong to you. It's literally a burglar spell. <laughs> oh, great. The kid better be bald. I wish he was bald. That'd be so much more funny. What if I age him up to be a child and I just like take away his hair? I promise you if I edit his appearance as he gets older, he is going to be a bald young adult at least. Oh, hey, perfect. All right, so reach spellcaster rank five and know 10 different spells. Oh, sick. We already like did that pretty much. So now we just have to... Level up and be an even better spellcaster! Again! 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 Great. Alright. We're now an adept. So Sims can now cast long distance without having to move closer to the target. Let's, let's just up ourselves here. Um... I feel like that'll be so annoying, but I, I feel like I need to do it also. Mm, okay, let's do that. Mm. How could she be a vamp pastor? A vamp pastor? That's what she is. She's a hybrid. She's a vamp pastor. Um, so I have this molt, this mod called. Oh my god, the occult mod, and it allows you to make um, hybrid sims. So this sim could be a spellcaster and a vampire, or an alien and a mermaid. She could be everything at once um, with this mod that I have. So that's kind of why the sims doesn't let you do it naturally. It either will pick one or the other. But uh, I have a mod that allows me to, um, yeah, to have hybrids but if people don't have that mod and they're doing this challenge by themselves um they'll have to like pretend that their sim is a vampire and make them do spellcaster things um yeah. <laughs> But the gyrations are just kind of funny to me. <laughs> the freaking movement when they're like learning spells is just so funny the way they move while they're waiting. 
No problem. I love that mod. I love the mod that allows me to have hybrids. It's it adds such a like a special twist, especially if you try and make a sim who is every hybrid in one. It gets even better. Also, I need to harvest. All of these. So many levels down. And then uh, let's go ahead and design some jewelry and such. You want the what? You want the spoon? Okay, I didn't mean everything out in your underwear. I just meant the crystals. Remember when you did that and it kept giving you humans on the last gen? Oh my gosh, I feel like aliens. The aliens were the giving me the hardest time. And yeah, like the, the kids kept not coming out with what I needed. Um, I think it was like with the aliens. Something kept happening with the alien kids. They were supposed to be full-blooded, I think, aliens. And it kept giving me like... It just kept like dodging me on it. I was having so much, t uh, such a hard time with that mod. You want the spoon every time, every time. It's my favorite. <laughs> when they fly away as a bat and it's just, you want the spoon. All right, so we still need to get gemology to level 10, which shouldn't take us that long. I think honestly it's just being a spellcaster. Oh yeah, your little cat's hanging out with us too right now. I love that for us. Yes, because we love our cat. Cassie is the bestest. Go for a little treat. Little pet. To reward her for sticking by her side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Woo! Yeah ho! Uh-huh. Yeah ho! Uh-huh. No. Alright, so sec. Seventh gen should be coming along really soon. <laughs> Which I'll announce more about the seventh gen when we get on. I've got about a half hour left of stream. I guess if we get two more subs and I get to like five out of ten, I'll like throw her into labor right away. Ooh. A nice piece. I'm just selling all these because I don't care to keep them. Let's do this and that. This and that. And this and that. Is she having baby on the stream? I'm not sure. I mean, if we get five out of our ten sub goals, which is like two more, um, then I can make sure it happens for sure. And I can introduce you guys to the seventh gen and we can name them on this stream. Otherwise, we'll just have to wait till Friday night. Because I don't know if she'll give birth on this stream or not. How are you guys, you guys doing over here? Everybody's fine. Nobody else is pregnant. So, why are you guys hanging out together? Don't you think you guys have like caused enough trouble around here? She doesn't even have a romance with Mr. Clean. Oh, look at Mr. Clean being a nice little daddy to scrub daddy, though. You know, I thought he was supposed to be the daddy. It's actually him. Oh, Sim Gal said, hold my beer. So, okay, so as soon as she's done cutting up this gen stone, I will uh, go ahead and send her into labor. Actually, I'll send her into labor right now. Um, crap, I forgot. It's, it's supposed to be a female for the next gen. Don't... Don't watch me do nothing. Movie magic. Don't watch nothing. <laughs> Everyone say thank you to Simgal for gifting out those two subs and allowing us to give birth to the seventh gen right away. No, oh, not infinite. Oh, why do I say that? Have baby. Oh, Lord. All right, you scrub daddy. Let's go ahead and command you are now a child. Wow, because time has passed. Oh. 
Oh, I'm trying to, uh, Yennefer. You can't transform as a bat while you're pregnant or something? Scrub Daddy has aged up. He is now an insider. Scrub Daddy seems to have all the insights. I think Scrub Daddy TikTok is hilarious. And I like that so far, like, some of the people that I've seen them partner with. I think it's really nice. All right, guys. So, I need a girl a vampire name. I want something really edgy for this generation. So, you know how the romantic girl was, like, really beautiful vampire names? I need something edgy for this vampire name. Uh, question. The question is, girl, I want an edgier. That's what I'm looking for. Something a little edgier. I like that one. Mm. No, Gein, you're not getting a name. We're not naming a baby after Vlad. That one's cute. Dementia? <laughs> Murderer. No, rabbit. <laughs> Come on, give me something dark here. Ooh, I like that. Eva Emerald. Darla. Darla sounds cute. Not rebellious. Not edgy. She's so mean to me. Mod abuse. Gain, you have gotten so many Sims named after you. Shush. <laughs> oh, I like that. All right, I picked my five favorite name suggestions. Your options are Ebony, Raven, Zara, Rowan, or Scarlet. Those are your name options. I really like Ebony and Raven and Rowan. I think some of those are my favorites. All are good options though. I don't think I'm particularly upset at any of them. Um, I do like quite a bit of them. How about Athena? You know, Athena hasn't gotten as many name suggestions. So uh, pull it up again next time, Athena, and we'll let the we'll let chat decide. But Gain has gotten enough. Bells, honestly. Bells, Bella. No, not Bella. <laughs> Bells, honestly, could have gotten some too. So I will make sure that this baby is a, a vampire, though. Since we've had a lot of hybrids going on here, I do want this one to be a vampire. Um, because we need to make sure she's still a vampire for this. So I'll probably take away her like spellcaster powers on this one. Ooh, it's a tie between Raven and Zara. Hmm. I'm gonna do Raven because I like that one better. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so here is little Raven. Let's go ahead and feed her real quick. I'm sorry. I liked Raven better and I suggested Zara. <laughs> I just, you know, it's easier for me to just pick whatever one I want. <laughs> So for those of you who fought for Zara, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna age her up into a toddler and then I will talk to you a little bit more about what her seventh gen is and what she will kind of be doing with her life. Come on, I wanna see what you look like first. Oh my God, I think she's gonna look exactly how I want her to. One, two, three. Yes! Oh, Callum's genetics did perfectly! Oh my goodness. Yes! Okay, mom, get your butt out of here. Literally, 
Oh my gosh, Callum's genetics did exactly what I wanted them to. Oh, I was that. really hoping this baby would have brown hair. Oh my goodness. Yes. So also, as we get further down into our vampire legacy, the Sims will start looking less and less like vampires because they're slowly more, more uh, going away from tighter vampire bloodlines. So that's why we are seeing less pale, pale vampires and we're moving more to a more humanized, humanized vampire look. But she is gorgeous. I'm very happy with Raven. She's exactly how I was hoping she would turn out um, with dad's genetics. I was hoping for a brown haired baby. He was the chosen one. Hopefully he'll give us some child support payments as well. So let's go ahead and take Raven into Cass and uh, let me go ahead and share with you guys what Raven is about. Raven is the rebellious vampire ex werewolf lover. Aspirations are soulmate, her traits are self-assured, dog lover, and a goofball. You were always different. You didn't care about the feuds instilled upon you by your great-grandparent, Alucard. Uh, what do they know anyways? They fight, <laughs> they fight their, they would fight their left toe if they thought it looked at them funny. Your love for canines confused your family, but your mother, wanting to appease her child so she could be left alone, she had more magical, important things to do. Let you get one, even though she didn't understand why you wanted a dog over a cat. Because her mom's really into cats. So she's like, why does my kid like a dog so much? But your fascination didn't stop there. What could be so bad about werewolves? They're kind of cute. Maybe really cute if you could just get close enough to one. So she basically, her, she just wants to be a soulmate with a werewolf, befriend a werewolf, which is really hard for vampires, which is why I want to make sure she's more vampire than spellcaster. So befriend a werewolf, marry a werewolf, and have a female heir. So really, for her, it's just fall in love with a werewolf, um, which she definitely is going to do. I also like her white eyelashes and black, or er, on um, dark brown hair. But I think I'm just going to kind of leave that because it's really cute. So she's my little rebellious baby. I'm just going to change her. Yeah, let's do like a t-shirt moment. But I still want it on the darker side. Maybe not. Maybe not that. Give her Chucky clothes. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Chucky clothes are actually really kind of cute for her. And I like the pairing of it with the shoes. Yeah, we'll just give her Chucky. Chucky shoes. <laughs> actually, I think I'm starting to not like the white eyelashes. So I'm going to take those away. And her sleepwear. <gasps> Bruh, she's already trying to be... She's already trying... Bear little rebellious baby with freaking highlights in her. Also, I like her hair, so I'm gonna leave it. She's already trying to be that girl, though. Mm -mm -mm. I think her mom would put her in something like that. We'll go with that. Being colorful is rebellious in this family. True. True. The dog can be Zara. Yes. Aries was a dog lover too. <gasps> That's right. Aries was a dog lover. <gasps> Princess Eyes. No, get rid of that. Get rid of that comment. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but oh my god. We could name the Raven Familia Zara to honor the tie. Oh, that could be cute too, because we have the Raven Familiar. Oh my God, that's right. 
Oh, that is also true. Gosh, do we name the dog Zara or do we name our raven familiar Zara? Both would be really funny. All right, also, I need to see. <gasps> Sweet! She's already a vampire! Oh my god, that is perfect! She's already a vampire. Well, no, she said she was a vampire. It just said she was a vampire. Is she both? I just saw the vampire thing. Maybe she's a hybrid, just like her mom. Because I just saw a vampire over here. And I know that did not come from her mom. So, I don't know. I think she... I, I think she's a vampire, though. She's obviously a hybrid right now, because she's also saying spellcaster, but I will make sure she is more vampire than anything. Also, Scrub Daddy has aged up. This is Scrub Daddy now. <laughs> He will show himself. And of course, he's making a mess. Very unscrub daddy of him. Nice. All right, so little Raven's gonna go ahead and start aging up. And we will work on her legacy as she gets a little older. We'll let her get a dog probably when she's a child. So we'll, uh, we'll figure out what kind of dog we want then. Maybe we adopt a dog and maybe we adopt a wolf, I don't know. Definitely it'll be something, though. I would like us to go back down. Down, down, down. To here, though, and continue what we're doing over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's probably a hybrid, and I think I'm just going to take away the spellcaster from her. Um, I think I would just rather her be just full vampire on this one. Because I want the, uh, the hybrid to be more special to mom. Or maybe I let her be all three. Maybe I let her just be both. Both vampire and spellcaster. I don't know. I haven't decided. She'll either be a hybrid or she'll just be all vampire. With with touches of spellcaster lineage. You know, like, we won't say that she's not. Well, she is mostly spellcaster. I still want... I'll let her be a hybrid, probably. She just won't go into her spellcaster side as much. Like, she won't go as hardcore into it as her mom is. Her mom is a very talented, very special spellcaster. Um, and vampire mix. I'm just really trying to get her stuff done. There's gotta be a way to 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 get this done faster. Oh, she's already almost done with this. She just needs to get to the rank. She's pretty much done. She just needs to get to the rank five of being a spellcaster, and she's done. Let me see. Um, and she needs to get to level 10 of jewelry making. Seven, <laughs> but other than that, her, she's already pretty much done. This is the last thing of spellcaster and sorcery. So she just needs to get to level 5 of a spellcaster what? and, uh, get to level 10 of this and, and she, we're solid with her already. So just a little bit of grinding for her, which is why I think I'm glad that, oh, somebody put Raven in her bed! Aww. She's so cute. I am so glad The Sims added infants. I know everybody's kind of different on infants, but I just think infants are so cute. I think there's- <gasps> We have not done a portrait of Yennefer! Oh my god, we need to do her portrait! Okay, so she's not making this jewelry, we'll do that. Oh my gosh, thank you for the reminder night, Abel. We did not do her portrait yet. Oops. 
I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, let's get her dressed. Um, and then let's get some stuff set up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I completely forgot about her portrait. Which is definitely gonna go down in her, kind of her lab area, I think is where we, where we will be putting her portrait. Also, I need to lower his, I keep forgetting that. So let's go ahead and get grandma's easel, sell that, move her back a little bit. And then let's go get the night. Actually, I kind of want it to be, I want it to be done down here with like her like spellcaster kind of stuff in the background, like right in front of this. Maybe. Like I kind of want with the potions and stuff right in the background. Let me do that, and then I need to get make sure she's got good lighting on her for this picture. Let's put that there, and then let's go grab a grandma's easel. Let's put it right here. If, if maybe not, just a smidgen more this way. Okay. Teleport a sim. Yennefer. Let's strike some poses. Let's see, what can I do here? Gotta be one that looks very spell ca caster. Uh, that one could work. And this one could be cool too. It's still going to be like on camera. I like that one. All right, we'll see. And more paint from reference, large painting. Pose, Yennefer. Oh, nope, don't like that one. You are not facing the correct angle. I think it would have been cool, but... Um... I guess let's start there. I don't know if it'll be facing correctly, but let's just see. Ah, we'll see about that. Shabba. Grandma, get down there! Lucinda. Ribs. I was this close to resetting her. Alright, let's see. How's the angle look? I think that could be cool. We'll we'll do two two paintings probably on this. So we'll see what how this one turns out, and then we'll do the other pose and uh see about that one. Cause I can still tweak the setup. A little bit. This way. Because I think I wanted more of a direct shot, and I didn't think I lined it up good enough for that, because that would have been cool, you know, with like her spellcasterness. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This could be a good painting still. So I'll put it over here when we're done with it, and we'll do one more painting. And uh, I'll see which one I like better. As of right now, it's looking pretty good, though. I like how the potion is exactly right in the background like I was hoping it would be. Mm. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with that so far. It's so nice, Lucinda, that you were here to do these paintings for us. Just imagine if we didn't have her for this, okay? On to the next pose. All right. Honestly, 
Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, let's go ahead and do one more paint from reference and see how we like it. Ooh, that's a good one too. Well, let's get it painted and uh, we'll choose which one we like better. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cat Cater. You're having a uh, Cater dot. I'm so glad you're. I'm so sad you're having such a hard time. Thank you so much for the follow, though. I appreciate it. I'm so glad um, that you're here as of right now, but I hope you can stay. <laughs> what kind of issues are you having? Yes, Hobo Jesus loves deep thoughts. The paintings also make it look like there's so much lighter, I think, than I intend for them to be, too. Which, to say, I do put this really bright light here. But it always feels like they're going to be so dark otherwise. We'll see. Come on, Lucinda, keep going. Don't chat with her. She's not she's not in a chatting uh, ability re ability right now. You want Go design random jewelry while your grandma's doing this, because this is the last two paintings. You already have a decent one. I'm just gonna see I'm just being greedy and doing first. The first one is powerful badass. I think so too. I think the first one is a really good option. I think I thought it was gonna be less strong but uh it's proving to be quite good like her eyes even though the painting's really hard like to capture good detail i think her eyes are popping out in just the right way but uh we'll see how the second one looks i'll i'll see which how i feel about each one Ooh, so far this is a decent one too hmm I think I'm liking this one a little more. I'm gonna put it over here for now. I'll put the other one next to it when it's done. Oh, and there it is. Alright, thank you so much, Lucinda, for your work. I'm gonna take a look at both of our options here. Alright, guys. How are we feeling? Do we like the first painting or the second painting better? I think, I mean, both are gorgeous. She looks stunning in both. I think I like the first one. I think I like the first one better. It is giving more power. The second one is also cutesy, though. But the first one gives power in a way that I really like. But she looks so sweet in the second one. I like the left best. Yeah, I think the first painting she did was probably my favorite. Both are great options, but I, I do think this one is, is better. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, a thousand dollars. That's a pretty decent painting. Azuka Walake. So that also. Wenzel Thebe. You are. Wenzel Thebe, Wenzel Thebe, Wenzel all the way. Alright, let's go ahead and see. Snub Nose Leaf Blat. Let's do the Raven. I wanna, I wanna bond with the Raven one next. Find familiar. I'm gonna call it Zara. Huh. It is a tribute to our daughter. So let's do magic, familiars, summon a familiar, and let's see what the raven looks like. Because I think we'll be getting done with uh, 
or pretty quickly. And I think we do have quite a couple of warriors left to go. The dragon is really cute. I do like the dragon a lot, if I'm being fair. But I do want to keep going through. So let's try the raven. Yeah, that's the raven right there. I think that's really nice. I think I may like the dragon better, but I think the raven is also a pretty worthy candidate. Dang it, there is a couple spells we already know. I guess I can sell those then. I didn't always once know them. They did a good job on the familiars. The familiars are really cute. I wish they put as much effort into everything else as they do with that. All right, guys, you guys have let your pen really go to a very sad place over here. I think you guys need to take care of that. Things are kind of going downhill over here. Lydia, can you, oh! Lucinda made a $3,000 painting, as if we didn't already have enough money over here. They're doing very well for themselves. Lydia, go ahead and sell those. Oh, I said sell these. And then repair that. So everything down here is broken right now. Yes, I would like to sell this masterpiece for 3,000 simoleons. Thank you. Oh, great. There. Perfection. All right. Uh, Raven, how you doing? Doing great. You need nothing. Looks like Grandpa is... No. Great Grandpa? I think this is your great Grandpa. Mom, grandma, yeah, he's your great grandpa. Great, great grandma. Great, great, great grandpa. And great, 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 great grandmother. Insane. Insane how we have <laughs> that many. So we got mom, grandma, great grandpa, great great grandma, great 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 grandma, and great 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 grandma. <laughs> Love seeing that. And it's funny how every generation is still alive, except for Gen 2, who died tragically. At definitely not any of our faults. I still have no idea how this happened to the day. Oh. <laughs> All right, can you, is there any other way to level up magic besides doing spells and learning spells? Or does she just need to keep practicing magic to get that up? Because it takes so long. It's been so wonderful watching the family go. I've been having a lot of fun with this legacy challenge. Like, everybody feels different. It doesn't feel like the same routine over and over again. I feel like that's every, it's because every generation has a distinct storyline and a purpose. Because, like, when you're doing, like, say, Not So Berry, it's just they have a career, they have an aspiration and traits. And I think what I like about this so much is I have like distinct storylines I'm trying to follow. I think for me, that's what makes it fun. I really care about storylines. Make potions in the car. I need to make potions too, that's right. But like, I feel like, I don't know. I like a storyline. I like the drama. I like, well, I also like fantasy. And I think this really gives me, this really, provides for me that level of fantasy that I like. All right, let's go ahead and have her practice making potions once she's done with this. Because we do need to work on that level of it, um, of things for ourselves also. Apparently I need to move that back also when I made this room a little bit bigger. Whoa. 
storylines are my favorite. I love me a good storyline. But, uh, actually, we're not going to be able to get to the potions tonight. So, we are good here. I'm going to go ahead and save. That is all that I have for us tonight. Um, so, on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when I come back, we're going to be continuing on with this story. We'll be probably focusing more on Gen 7 next time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to Raven's plotline of being our werewolf lover. Um, and the the genes are going to get a little murkier because we've gone from spellcaster to vampire to werewolf. And now, you know, we just keep kind of adding things in. So we'll focus more on Raven here soon. Oh, see, she. this is why she doesn't like cats, because he. She's Cassie is just scratching her up and pushing her over. This is why she doesn't like cats. I think that's where it started. But uh, other than that, I'm going to peace out. I love you guys. I'll see you guys all next time. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. I am HM on all those platforms. I try and get these out within 48 hours-ish of when they were streamed on Twitch. So make sure you follow on Twitch. That way you can watch them at any time on Twitch if you miss a stream and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, I'll be live on Friday at 7 p.m. And I will see you guys then. I love you so much. Have a wonderful night. And I'll be seeing you. Bye.